What's good, everybody? It's your boy Radio Legend. Today I'm gonna be telling y'all what y'all could do in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. In case you're bored. Now, the um, the uh, the one-year anniversary for Kakarot was yesterday. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything new in the game or no information, but there is still hope out of the jump scans that are coming out either today through the 19th I believe so yeah look out for that now the first thing that you could do of course is do these battles that you might have already done before and you can just fly through people with the um the red battles I guess you can call them fast battles. You can do these all over again. Take a point where you're done on that. And, um. Yeah, that, that's one thing that you could do. Another thing is to collect all the Dragon Balls and keep wishing for stuff. Um. There isn't no new Dragon Ball wishes. But. But, um. If you need orbs, like you're gonna run out of orbs eventually, so you're gonna need orbs to um, to uh, level up and get stuff like uh, auto Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, and um, stuff like that. So yeah. Another thing that you might have already done was um, baseball, playing baseball. Now you can only play. I, I think you can only play baseball with Gohan. But baseball in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, it's it's kind of fun. I I like it, and it's um it's rankings and like scores to beat, so that makes it even more fun and more competitive to uh play with and to uh yeah. Now I haven't played baseball in this game forever in forever, but so like chill on my skills. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty really fun. The graphics just make it way more fun. So you just go up here in Satan City and go to the baseball icon, of course. With Gohan only, I believe, so. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You can play any of these. I'm gonna just play this one real quick to show y'all what I'm talking about. You're not getting a single hit off me. And you did do this as a sub story, I believe, or in the real story. Or in the main story. Press circle or B to swing. That was a bad swing, but yeah. When it gets on the red, it has to go as further. Like that. You can just play the whole thing. Um, if you have a lot of Zenny. It, 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 I guess it's gonna cost you a lot of zenny too, because it's a fee to um, play the games. Yeah, it's pretty cool. As you can see, I, I was playing this a lot, um, and yeah. So that's that. Um, hmm, well, let me think. What else? There is stuff like I believe there's racing still in the game. Yeah, I believe that there is um some uh race race things. Um yeah there's somewhere. I'ma find them real quick, but as you know if you completed the whole story you can actually go back and replay the whole story. Or um even go back and do sub quests that you haven't finished or that you haven't done. Now I did this a long time ago, and plus I needed um, D medals to um, get uh, get uh, new moves for my character. So that's a good that's a good way to uh, to uh, get D medal stuff. So yeah, that's another thing. Um, and as most of you know, before DLC two came out, uh, there's a thing called car battles. That when you go in West City, it's actually over here, and you can play card battles. Which I don't, I don't really like card battles, 
but it is like a multiplayer mode. It's very cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into them later, but yeah, they're really I don't really like them like that. Another thing that you can do is um get sensu beans. Now sensu beans, if you know what a sensu bean is, it restores all of your health, and uh, it really helps in battle with um especially when you're fighting characters who are higher level than you or fighting characters um who are really strong and really do a lot of damage such as golden golden freeze um just pop a sensu bean go to core and pop a sensu bean you know what I mean? and be on your way like i said before you can actually do racing battles which i think was a part of the main story um there's still a lot of them around probably most of you forgot about because it really wasn't it really was just like brought up only once so you can still do these challenges. You just drive a hover car over a bipedal robo walker, which um both are very cool. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what um the hover car is or what the hover car time Maybe thing I'll just is. The view. I never did this one before, so Let's see how good I do. I think the driving game is like any other awesome. driving in any other game. Which is uh, the right thing I can do. I can't even see. Oh no. But uh, yeah. I don't know where I'm going. To be completely honest with you. Like, bro, do you see it? and stuff though. No, I'm stuck. Wow. I got eight I got eight seconds. Oh, I'm not making it bruh. <laughs> I'm not making it. I didn't get all the checkpoints. Oh my goodness. Oh that showed you how bad driving mm. is. But um yeah that was our car thing. Most of you forgot about it, but yeah. Also, I'm gonna sh show y'all real quick what the um, Robo Walker is like. Cause I bet most y'all don't even even got a hover car in a, in a Robo Walker for real. I, I totally myself. forgot how to work this thing. So let's see. So you press yeah. X to jump or A for an Xbox. We have to go to Capital Corporation. Now, when you're in Capital Corporation, you have to go and find Boma and talk to Boma. <laughs> now, you press build something, of course, and you go to R and D. No, you don't go to R and D. I don't know where you would go to anymore because I I built the cars, my robot things. But it might be different for you guys. All you need, I think all you need is materials and stuff. So once you get that, you can also level them up with anything, I believe. I have all mine to the max level, I didn't even know that, but um, yeah, you can do all that. You can build speed chips. Oh, speed chips, put it on the, okay, makes sense. Oh well, yeah, so I guess you just go over 
to Robo Walker and stuff, and you can go to Robo Walker. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, that's another thing you guys probably missed or probably probably want to do if you are bored in the game. Another thing, if you have the DLC, I believe, you can come over here to Android 21 to or Female Researcher, as her name is, and you can modify the training system or you can train and get stuff for, um, for your characters, um, which you can equip along with, uh, with uh, Auto Super Saiyan, God Super Saiyan, and whatever. And if you do have the DLC, you can train with Banyu from the Ginyu Force and um, fight with her. Um, yeah, let's do this real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what it's like training with Bonnie. We still I didn't get anything. Um, but all in all, if you have almost everything finished, then maybe card battles would be thing to do. Especially if you have online hey, any console that you have. This looks like some high grade um, stuff. Yeah. And uh yeah. Ooh, I think that's pretty much it. If I find something else I'll make another video, but that's pretty much it. Um Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I saw that my boy President Rose subscribed, man. I'm, I'm beyond happy. <laughs> I woke up this morning, man. I was like, what? I told all my friends, man. I was like, yo. Thank you so much, President Rose. If you see this video, thank you very much for subscribing to me, bro. You're the reason why I'm doing this video right now, man. For real. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys. And another one maybe tomorrow uh b jump scans are coming out so I'll probably do a video on that and um yeah hit that subscribe button if you're new hit that like button and yeah see you guys tomorrow <laughs>